Stop there.
Also bitte. Komm. Isn't my son supposed to be back by now? Um, um. It's okay, don't worry. You can go. Him around here. No! We must not lose this guy. We must get him. Of course, he must die. That was the contract. And I think he should be somewhere around there. That's Chief. Hello, Chief. Not really, sir. We are still on it. We got him, but he escaped. We'll get him, sir. Yes, Chief. What next? Let's go. Don't know. I will leave you behind if you are not true yet. See who is talking. Hmm? You've not bothered yourself and you're threatening to leave behind who is done binding hands. Chimo, are you serious? What have I been doing that made a sluggish girl like you to finish before me? Eh? You just called me sluggish, Okwaya. Okay, fast girl. You see that luggage girl? She will leave you behind today. Wait, Vico. Mm, today that you finish before me, I will not hear a word. <laughs> Bad mouth. Lego don't need you, cool. <laughs> What makes you believe he is going to take my course when he's refusing yours? I am worried. Even the driver is not picking up too. 
Are you serious? Yeah. Uh, let me call Uguma. I'm sure he'll be with her. That's better. Okay. Hello, princess. Yes, dear. Um, I just want to know if my brother is with you. The prince? Yes. No, no, I haven't seen him for uh, some days now. Why? I hope there's no problem. No, there's no problem at all. My mom is just being unnecessarily worried. You know, mothers. <laughs> Tell her not to worry, huh? I'm sure he's um, chilling with some of his friends. But I'll try and reach him. Okay. All right. Take care. Bye. Bye, ya. Uh... What did she say? Mom, he's not with her. What? <laughs> Mom, just relax. Come and sit down. I, I, Mom, just relax. Just come and sit down. It's just Mom. not that. Mom, just calm down. Mom, Efan is not a kid. He'll be fine. Of course I know. But the fact that he's not taking my calls makes me worry. What's wrong with this motherfucker? I haven't seen him for days now and he's been avoiding me. No, like, seriously, where the hell would that idiot be? Now he won't pick up his mother's call. Mom, my family's gonna come back. Just relax. You need a drink. Where are all those maids? Maids? Mom, just relax. They'll get you a drink. Maids! Uh -huh. So now I use the opportunity to sneak out. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Your father seems to be the only standing between you and boys, Abby. Uh -huh. uh, since your mother has gone for Mogo. Ukoma. Uh -huh. I hope you satisfied you. <laughs> Talk now. Anyway, I know he did because if not, you wouldn't have been talking of going to see him again. Satisfy me with what? Eh, uh, no. swear you don't know what I'm talking about. Not thinking. Pretender. Eh? You just call me pretender. Uh -huh. Yeah, if you call me pretender, then I will use this machine to design this priestly person. Yes. <laughs> Are you the only one that has machine? Me, I have my own. Mm. I'll just use. I'll take my machine. Sorry, wait. Where's my machine? Uh -uh. Hi. Eh? Wait. Are you sure you didn't forget it's where we bonded our firewood? Oh, and my mother told me not to go to the farm with it. Uh, the machine belongs to my late father. I have to. I'm not going there with you. No, no. My, my, if I would be safe, give me your this. Let me call something. Take. Uh -huh. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, my go well. Go well, eh? Okay. Bro, 
do this. You should have. God damn it! You was on this tree when I spoke with Chief. We are so stupid. This way. Have you tried reaching your son since afternoon? No. The last time I spoke with him was in the morning, when he was leaving the palace. Why? I've been trying to reach him since afternoon, but he's not picking. Even the driver is not also taking his calls. Are you serious? Well, maybe he doesn't want to be disturbed wherever he is. Oh my lord, you and I know he didn't go for pleasure's sake. He left to meet with some business associates. And that explains why he doesn't want to be bothered with your calls. He may be in some serious meeting with his associate as we're speaking. So relax yourself. He will definitely call you back once he's through. Why do you like to get yourself all worked up? I just hope he's not avoiding my calls because of some useless meeting. Because he will sure get it from me when he comes back. Just wait for him to return first. And I promise not to get involved. You can beat him as much as you want. Mother and son, I don't want to be part of your problems. Before someone will say that Igwe is taking sides. <laughs> That's your business. <laughs> Why do you like to get yourself worried over nothing? He is a man. He can take care of himself. My lord, you should understand how I feel now. Chief is calling again. And what do we tell him? Don't worry, I will take care of that. Hello, Chief. I want good news, Piccolo. That is a bad news. And I hate to hear that. I don't want that son of a bitch to escape from you. Go out there and fetch him out and finish him off. Now get going. Get out.
What are you doing? Mama, Mama, thank the gods you are here. Help me save life. Someone is dying, Mama. Who is he? Mama, I don't know. I saw him in the forest. Some boys were trying to kill him. They even shot him. Help me get hot water. Let me use it on him, please. Shot? Yes, Mama. Are you sure he is not a thief? Let's report him to the police. Maybe they will take him to the hospital. Mama, there is no time for this. Help me get hot water. He is dying. He's not a criminal and he doesn't look it. The boys that were coming after him, they are the criminals. They were trying to kill him. I insist we report him to the police. What are you doing? Mama, Mama, thank the gods you are here. Help me save life. Someone is dying, Mama. Who is he? Mama, I don't know. I saw him in the forest. Some boys were trying to kill him. They even shot him. Help me get hot water. Let me use it on him, please. Shot? Yes, Mama. Are you sure he is not a thief? Let's report him to the police. Maybe. They will take him to the hospital. Mama, there is no time for this. Help me get hot water. He is dying. He's not a criminal and he doesn't look it. The boys that were coming after him, they are the criminals. They were trying to kill him. Hey. I insist we report him to the police. Mama, I don't like this thing. Help me get hot water. Somebody is dying here. You are not getting me. He's not a criminal. He doesn't look it. you learn all this? Mama, that's a story for another day. for someone in his condition. Mama, take care of my recovery. Where are you going? What's there now? Just take care of my recovery. Bien, 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 bien. Oh, my kitchen is up around my bank. Huh? Mama, what will happen? I beg, I'm coming. I'm scared, though. Bien, bien, bien. Some policemen are here to see you. Bring them in.
Your Majesty, I'm Inspector Tony. With me here is my colleague, Detective Joe. We are from the Zonal Police Station. Your Highness. Um, Your Majesty, we are made to understand that you are the father of Prince Afan. Uh, yes. yes. What about my son? Sir, your son and his driver were attacked by unknown gunmen earlier on today. What? But, Inspector, what are you talking about? Where is my son? You have to calm down, Your Majesty. Igwe, we believe your son is safe. Though we found the corpse of his driver in the vehicle. But we believe your son is safe. He has gone missing. Right now, we are assuming it's a kidnap and we are treating the matter as such. Your Majesty! Your Majesty! Say something, Your Majesty! Your Majesty, talk now! Escaped from you, and you call yourself professionals Piccolo? Yes, Chief. Sando? Yes, Chief. Go out there, fetch that boy, and finish him off. Of course, Chief. We will. What are you still doing there? Get lost! Yes, Alright, Chief. Ada, Ada, that's him. That's him I saw in your paintings. Of course. Of course. Oh, my friend, I am dying of curiosity. Tell me, how did it happen? Oh, did he fall from the sky? Mm, people don't fall from the sky <laughs> don't now. Tell me now. <laughs> no. Okay, let me tell you. Let me tell uh, you. You know, that time I went back to get my father's budget. Okay. I saw him in the forest. Some people were trying to kill him. I had to hide him from them. He was unconscious. I brought him here with the help of my mother who treated his wound. He was shot anyway. Eh? Yes. Hey, this is so unbelievable. It's so unbelievable. Hey, Ada. Ah, but Ada, that boy is so cute. I'm so happy. Eh? Mwah, Maka. Eh? Come, are you sure he's even human? Don't no, stop, Joe. No, Please, officers, I am counting on you. Make sure you find my son and bring him home safely. We'll try our best, Your Majesty. Are you sure you do not know of anyone who could possibly be behind this? I can't think of anyone now. Um, Ma, what about you? Detective, I do not know of anyone who could be targeting my family. I mean, we've done no harm to anyone. I, I want to believe that my son has been kidnapped and all they need is money. I just want my son to be safe. He will. He will be safe. The police is involved now. And we'll take our leave. But meanwhile, Your Majesty, please, do not hesitate 
to inform us once there is a call for ransom. Please. Of course, <laughs> of course I will. I will inform you. Very well then. Thank you, Your Majesty. I feel fear in the What are you telling me? I don't know. I don't know what to say. The police just left the palace right now. They said it's a kidnap case. Since they didn't see him at the same way they shot the gun. I don't know. I'm so scared. I don't want anything to happen to her father. I don't want anything to happen to my brother. It's all we got. Yes, I know. I know. Okay, you need to calm down. The prince is safe. I'm sure he's fine. He'll be safe wherever he is, okay? Maybe very soon the kidnappers will reach out to you guys. So, you know what? Can, 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 can you just come to? Uh, can you just come and stay with me? I feel so lonely. I just need somebody to talk to, please. Um. Um. Uh, no, not tonight. But I promise I'll make it first thing tomorrow morning. Oh, it was so. All right. I'll, I'll, I'll talk to you later. Good night. I feel fear in the My man is missing. I heard he was attacked by some unknown gunmen and has since disappeared into thin air. I want you to get some guys with you, come everywhere, find him wherever he is and make sure you bring him back home safely. Can you handle that? Of course, my number one. Leave that to me. Good. Thank you. Mama, why me? Why me of all people? Why me? I've told him I don't want to serve any girls. Wouldn't they just leave me alone? Does it mean the elders appeared to you again? Yes, mother. Why is it that they always show their ugly faces each time I'm about to be happy in life? Isn't this my life? Do I really own it to anyone? It is your life. You don't owe it to anyone. I feel for you. I am sorry this is happening. I am sorry there is nothing I could do to help. I hate to see you in pants. I hate to see you suffer. I hate the fact that this is happening. Oh God! I want to see there is something I can do to help.
Please wear one. You are a new model. Having this dream. I was chilling beside the river. All of a sudden, a hand came out from nowhere and held my leg. This mysterious hand dragged me into the river. I was drowning and almost lost my life. When a lady appeared from nowhere and saved my life, but this lady in question never wanted to reveal her face. I begged and begged, and she finally revealed her face. But to my greatest surprise, I woke up this morning, and behold, the lady in question that saved my life was standing before me. Excuse me. <laughs> friend. I actually thought she was here. Aduga, Aduga. You mean the girl that saved my life? Yes. Oh. So she is responsible for all this. <laughs> my friend Adugo is full of amazing raw talents. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. So how did I end here? Well, I guess she's in the best position to tell you that. You are her friend, please tell me, I'm curious. Mm -mm. No, I don't want to get involved. Mm -mm. Feel free and talk to me. I promise to keep it to myself. Mm -hmm. You promise? Yes. Okay. Well, I do go use to... Ah, uh, hey, princess, has the prince not returned yet? There has been no news, my dear. Up till this moment, the police haven't come up with anything positive. Even the assumed kidnappers, we've not heard from them. My God, the kidnappers haven't called? I'm scared there were no kidnappers. Mom, something terrible must have happened to my brother. Don't worry, there's nothing wrong with your brother. I'm very sure he's fine. He's sound, he'll be found, okay? You sound so confident. Is there something you know that we don't? No, Your Highness, no, you know, my instinct, my, my instinct, yes, my instinct tells me that he's fine. Um, have you guys tried contacting the police or something? They came this morning, but with no positive news. So, here you are. I've been searching for you. You know, you should not be going around with your wound. I visited your daughter's art studio. I must confess, she is talented. You see, Adugo is full of amazing talent. She started drawing beautifully when she was six. I never knew she would transform to this today. She can draw anything she sets her eyes on even in her dreams. I learned she's drawing a certain man whom she saw in her dreams, though she tries to hide it from me. But I overheard her telling her friend, Gom, <laughs> how funny kids can be. How could she know that it was only a dream, that such a man can never be a real. Yeah. Oh. You need to come and eat something and have your medicine before contacting your people. Hmm? It's okay. Let's go. Thank you very much. Look at me that way. You just suspect something. Oh, go mad. You almost screwed up today. No, I don't think he suspects anything. Hello? What's up? Have you found him? 
Don't give me that answer. Listen, look for him wherever he is and make sure you bring him back home safely. Stop making promises, just deliver. Good. Ada, you will not believe this. This is so unbelievable. That boy, we are also in his dreams. Hey! Who the fit? You're sad again. Come on, share up, be happy. Fritz just brought the man of your dreams your way. You should be happy. Ananda, that boy Amaka, eh? I seem to be in love with you as well. God, be happy, my friend. Cheer up, eh? Be happy. You guys just found each other. Cheer up. Of course I am. Come, I'm sad. Because I'm scared. I want what I need. Why? Why? Scared. Why? You know the answer. Things are happening. Oh, the world is changing. Oh, I am bitching. So nothing can be done about this. Nothing. Mm. It will help heal your wound. My daughter prepared it for you. Thank you very much, ma. Thank you. Um, you've not told me anything about you. My name is Afam. Afam Efuna. I am from Umuchu Kingdom. Ah, Umuchu Kingdom. Our worldly neighbors. Tell me, why were those people after your life? I don't know. I don't know. Now. They just appeared from nowhere and attacked us. They even killed my driver. What? They killed your driver? Huh. Those people, they are really heartless. Huh? Huh. I thank God they did not find you people. My daughter told me everything. Your daughter took a big risk to save my life. You are worried. What is wrong? I need to talk to my people. You are right. But first... 
eat your food, then we'll know how to contact them. Hmm? Once again, thank you very much. Piccolo, what do you think we should opt out from this game? No, Sando. You know, Chief, you must show come after us. So we have to keep us from here. The closest village from this place is Umudini. Then let's eat Umudini. Sure. But it seems rather weird, Your Majesty, that the kidnappers have not contacted you up till now. It bothers me too. But Inspector, what if there were no kidnappers? What if my son is no longer alive? Um, Your Highness, whoever these men are, I believe they only abducted your son. They chased him into the bush. And from the trail they left behind, I... I believe they, at a point they caught him and disappeared. Your Highness, whoever they are, I believe they want him alive and they caught him alive and disappeared. Your Highness. Then where did they take him to? Why haven't they contacted us if they only abducted him for the purpose of extorting money from us? That is exactly what we are trying to investigate right now, Your Majesty. But, uh, Your Majesty, remember I've asked you this before. Can you not think of anyone who could possibly be behind this? I mean, you know, your business associates, political rival, even a close friend. But you need to think closely, Your Majesty. Think. No. I seriously can't think of anyone. No one. Very well then, Your Majesty. We have to get back to work now. Permit us to leave, Your Majesty. I lost my appetite. Odichi, where is your daughter Dugo? Her presence is needed now at the Jenny River. My daughter? Yes! Uchi, she is not at home. You are lying to me! She's in there! Her presence is needed now! Now! <laughs> oh. Oh. 
This is fun. <laughs> I do it almost every day. Are you serious? And it was fun doing it with you this time. <laughs> Let's run for that. No, with one hand. Is it not hurting you? No, I feel strong. All thanks to the help you gave me. But who was that? Someone I don't want to see. But he sounds like your uncle. Yes. Odichi, you said your daughter Dugo went to the neighboring village to see a friend. But she was here some seconds ago. That's not true, Ichi. You are taking me for granted. You are taking me for granted. She was about having her food here in the living room. And when she heard my voice, she escaped. Let me tell you people, you are not deceiving me, you are deceiving yourselves. This is one thing you cannot avoid. It is better you bring her now for submission to avoid the wrath of the gods. Because if this happens, I will not forgive you. It's better for you to be wise. If I were you, I would be wise. Bring her for submission. Whatever she's hiding, whatever she's hiding, if she comes out, tell her that the elders want her at the Jenny River immediately. My mom once told me that it's only a naughty child that runs at the voice of his or her parents. So tell me, what did you do wrong that made you run at the voice of your uncle? You are funny. What do you think I did wrong? I'm not a naughty girl. I'm a good girl. Do you know I have evidence against you? You don't have any evidence, I bet. You don't have, you don't know the reason. Don't just come to me because I ran away from my uncle. You don't know why. I want to know. Tell me why. I'm not telling you, Joe. Ah, that's harsh. What? I visited your art studio and I saw beautiful things there. I must confess, you are such a talent. Did you see any acting? No. Was that something I was supposed to say? No, I'm just asking. Let's go, he might, he must have gone by now. Let's go back home. Okay. Excuse me, let me use this one. Okay. Well, ma. Yes, my son. You can now go in and have some rest. Okay. Go inside. Okay. Mama, what did you say? And what do you think he said? <laughs> Guy, what's up? Any show? Sure? Man, not at all. We have done all we could. But it does not look like he stepped into this village. Where in this world could he be? shot him. We missed and he escaped. Doesn't that sound as if we're in the movies? We are sorry, Chief. If I hear 
hear that again, I will castrate you. Piccolo. Yes, Chief. Sando. Yes, Chief. Go out there. Find that boy and kill him. I am I understood? Yes, Chief. Both out. I am the law. No one steals from me. It seems I got you angry. Why? Maybe I said something wrong that got to you. No, you didn't say anything wrong. I'm not angry with you. So why are you moody? I'm just tired. I need to take some rest. Excuse me. I will be leaving tomorrow. Of course you should. I want you to accompany me home. <laughs> Makaiye chikabu ama imo ama imo. So, mom, does it mean my brother is dead or alive? Please, don't just say that. Please. What do you want me to say? What do you want me to say? The police cannot point out where he is, whether he's alive or dead. Mom, did you hear them? Did you hear what they said? They said he probably he escaped with a gunshot. But am I supposed to believe that? Please. Am I supposed to believe that he's alive? Please, let's just be positive here. Please, my daughter, let's be positive. Let's believe and pray that, that all is well with him. Please. I don't know what, what I would do if I should look for my son and... Oh, Jesus. I just hope he's okay. <laughs> I can see your face beaming with satisfaction because you have found the mind of your dreams. But what makes you think he is the happiness you seek? Can you just leave me alone? Adogo, you cannot resist me anymore. I have been patient enough with you. Any more resistance will propel me to bring catastrophe upon you and your loved ones. You have two sunsets to consent or live the rest of your life in regrets. I just told you to leave me alone. Am I asking for too much? Let me be for crying out loud. Leave me alone. Go back to the pit of hell where you belong. Two sunsets. I do go. I feel fear in the Again, thank you very much for all you did. I really appreciate. Ha! Uh Koma, -uh. where are you going to dress like this? Actually, I asked her to come and travel with you people. 
At least, you need a friend by your side. Why traveling to a strange land? Mama. Mama. I told you I'm from the neighboring village. It is not a strange land. But if that will make Ada feel comfortable, it's okay by me. Of course. Thank you for coming, Koma. You're welcome. Anything for my friend. <laughs> so, Mama, we have to take you home and return immediately. Please. Okay. Return immediately? Mm -hmm. No. We agreed you will spend the night. Spend the night? Anyways, it all depends how comfortable we feel there. Trust me, you people will be very comfortable. Hey, Ada. Mama. Please don't stay long over there. You know I'm staying alone in this house. Eh? You have to come back on time. Please. But she's safe and fine, okay? Once again, thank you very much. You're welcome. My father. It's inside my prince. Did you say you are from Umudim Kingdom? Yes, Your Majesty. What clan? Okenta clan, Your Majesty. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for saving the life of my son. And I promise to reward you immensely for your kind gesture. Once again, thank you. Thank you, Your Majesty. <coughs> um, thank you so much for saving the life of my husband. Insist to go much should have sat there. I hate repeating myself. I want to do go by my side today. Please, let's eat the food. It's getting cold.
<laughs> Funny. Seems she was born and bred in the village. We are not here to discuss her. Concentrate on your food. That's rude, Afi. What message was she trying to pass? Don't no, tell me, what's her point? Enough. No more talking. That's bad till you manage. I hope you girls are having fun. Okay. I hope our agreement is still intact. What agreement taking? We agreed that you people will spend the night here. <laughs> My mother will be missing me already. Don't use your mother as an excuse because she concurred. Okay. Okay. We are staying. We are staying. I want to walk around the compound. Relax. Come around and have fun, okay? I will see you people later. Thank you. Thank you. trying to insult me in there because of that dirty village thing? No. You were the one trying to insult yourself. Me? Insult myself? What was that for? But tell me, what's your problem? You were jealous, complex, or insecurity. I can't believe that you turned into a pathetic human mere sight of that innocent girl. I may be pathetic, yes. You made me so. I felt ignored. I felt unnoticed. I felt unappreciated. My prince, you do not seem to appreciate my presence around here today, do you? I don't know what you're talking about. You know what I am talking about. That girl saved your life. That I know. But tell me, do you feel anything for her more than appreciation or is it something I should worry about? Goma, I have more important things to do with my time. Excuse me. Hmm. Ada, did you ever imagine that he could be the son of Igor Shendo? Of course not. Huh. Mother will be very shocked to hear this. I wonder why he hid it from us all this while. That boy is just full of surprises. Hmm. Ada, I can't believe my eyes at all. And he seems to have affection for you. Yes. 
maybe. But hi, girls. Are you guys not done yet? Excuse me. Why? Isn't your mission here complete yet? And you? Did you actually accompany the prince back home because you were concerned about his safety? Or you capitalized on the fact that you saved his life to get closer to him? Please! We just brought the prince back home and we'll soon be on our way back. Eh? <laughs> Maybe you. But her? Huh? I do not think so. FYI, girl, you are a minute too late. The prince and I are engaged and we're going to be getting married very soon. What that simply means is that what you need. Do you understand? Do you understand? Good. Dirty things. Oh, we're where are his father? Oh, um, he should be in his chambers with some guests. What of Adugo and her friend? I can't find them. They should be around the compound. No. I searched everywhere and they are nowhere to be found. I'm sorry, my friends. I saw her leaving the compound minutes ago with her friend. Leaving? She can't just leave like that. My I wanted to have some chit chat with her. My queen, I think she had a fight with her two good men. I saw her talking to them before they left angry. Sorry? Say that again. I think she had a fight with her two good men. I saw her talking to them before they left angry. Before the prince. Look, get out from here. Get out! Can you imagine this stupid? Goma, what did you tell Abugo that made her leave this palace without telling anyone? You didn't turn back to discuss about that common. That common saved my life. Without her, I would have been dead by now. Yes, she saved your life, that I know. And you are nothing except appreciation which you have done more than enough. So, she had to walk away. She didn't just walk away. Answer my question. What did you tell her? I told her what she needed to know. I noticed she had overstepped her bounds. So I had to do what I had to do. Which is? Tell her about us. By the way, how come you did not introduce me to her as your fiancé?
Ata is okay. Stop crying. We we'll develop a deck. Yeah. What happened? Mama, Mama, when did you come back? Mama, not quite long. And why is my daughter crying? It's not him, Mama. It's just that she found out about Prince Afam. Prince? Who is Prince Afam? The boy she saved. Many things are happening. He is a prince? Yes, Mama. He is the son of Igo Shendo, of Omochu Kingdom. Hey! Are you serious? Yes, Mama. But why did he hide it from us? Wait, did he do anything bad to my daughter? Not him, Mama. It's just that Adugo found out that Prince Afam has a girl she wants to settle down with. So she just devastated. Is that why you're crying? Come, let's go inside. Come. Hey, so that boy is different. By the way, where is the prince? Go and call him. Dad, I don't think he's anywhere around this house. How do you mean? I saw him leaving the palace some couple of minutes ago. To where? I know. To see that girl you claim saved his life. You can't be too sure of that unless he told you. He didn't tell me, but he left to see her after blaming me for making her leave without telling anyone. Your Highness, whatever he feels for that girl is more than mere appreciation. Good evening, my prince. I learned you are the prince of Umochu Kingdom. Yes, ma. But why didn't you inform us? Why did you hide it from us? Anyway, don't worry. I understand is it's because it has little or no meaning to us. Because we are world apart. Please don't talk like that, ma. I was only waiting for the right time. The truth is, I love your daughter. Yes. I love your daughter so much. Not even our class can be a barrier. Did you say love? Yes, ma'am. Loving someone means sacrificing for the person. Standing by him or her, even when the whole world is against the person. Being ready to face whatever predicament him or her is facing together and being everything for that person. I know all that, ma. Excuse me. 
Ada. What did you say? And I mean every bit of what I said. I love you from the deepest part of my heart. Though I have been trying to conceal it. How can you possibly say that when you don't know the real me? Ada, you've been in my dream for years. And I have been in your dream for years too. You even made a portrait of me before we met. We are destined to be together. The fact that you saved my life that particular day was not an accident. We cannot be destined for each other. You have so oneness. I don't love Ugoma. I don't even have feelings for her. And I never promised her marriage. She's just under the illusion my parents created. My prince, we can't be made for each other. It's not possible. And I'm not a baby. What I feel for you is real. I confirmed it the moment you left the palace without telling me. It was like part of me left. And that's why I rushed down to this place to tell you how much I love and cherish you. And please, I love you from the deepest part of my heart. My mother just defined love to you. Are you ready for all that? Many things are happening. All the world is changing. I am betting. On your mercy, cause I don't know anymore what the world is turning to. Have you made up your mind? No. My answer still remains no. Get someone else. There is no one else, Aluba. You are my daughter from Bet. Be treated to be my eye in the physical world. This bond has been made, established before you were brought into this world. You cannot betray me now. This is a mission you must complete. I can never serve you! I can never! Adugo. Adugo. Adugo! I can see you're not ready to return this. I will leave you to your fate. Ada? Ada? Adugo? Ada? Adugo? This is more than a sleep. Adugo! Ada? Adugo! Ada? Adugo! Is she sleeping? Yes. I have been trying to wake her up, but to no avail. Could you please excuse me for a moment?
I hope all is well. Yes, there is no problem. Just, just excuse me for a moment. Okay. Why didn't you go with the prince? Your Highness, I'm sorry. He said he wanted to go alone. I couldn't convince him. Lies! I'm pretty sure he wants to spend the night with her. Uguma! Oh, please! What do you expect of a man who is still out by this time of the night with a lady he's not engaged to? Limba presence! Thank you, Your Highness. Ada. Ada, Mama. Apu, go. Nne, please wake up for your mother. Hmm? Come back to your mother now. You have been there for too long. I have to go. My mother needs me. That woman does not need you. More than I do. This is your last chance, Adubu. And I'm giving you my answer. Then you are not ready to go back to your so called mother. You laugh. My mother needs me, and you cannot stop me. That woman did not make you. I brought you into this world. You did not make me. I have no links with you. <laughs> Listen to yourself, Adugo. If you have no link with me, then what are you doing here? To make my stand clear to you. To tell you to give me some peace of mind. Whatever covenant you had with my grandmother before my birth ended with her. You cannot use me to achieve your selfish and evil gangs. Watch your mouth, you ah! insolent daughter of man. Good you know I'm a daughter of man, not yours. Let immortals deal with immortals, and mortals deal with mortals. LET ME GO! Ada. Ada became... Norma. Hey. Mama. What is going on? Is she alright? Yes. She... She, she is alright. Then why is she not waking up? Ada. Ada. Adugo. Ada. Ada, what was the meaning of that? You scared us. For him to get back home. Is that what you really think? I should continue waiting for a prince who's probably relaxing in the arms of another woman. That's what you advise I should do. Uguma, you have to calm down. We 
could not even show if he's with the girl. You are not sure. I am certain. I have no doubt about that. Okay, fine. I mean, I won't stop you. Oh, please, try and come back tomorrow so that you guys can fix things. I'm sorry, I can't promise or assure you that. I was introduced to the Oracle when I was 12. Strange things do happen to me. I used to think they were just dreams. Not until a few years back. It became very obvious to me. My mission. What mission? My grandmother was a priestess before she died. She dedicated me to the oracle when I was born. As a priestess, I'm not supposed to fall in love with any man, except the oracle permits. Most priestesses do not get married. Some do. See why I'm scared? Listen, my love, you don't have to be scared, okay? This is 21st century. No oracle, I repeat, no oracle is in the position to decide your fate. I will walk through this lane with you. My prince, you don't understand what I'm talking about. You have to go. It's very risky staying close to me. For you, it's risky. For me, it's an honor. Like I said before, I am ready to walk through this lane with you. I have given you my word. And my word is my bond. <laughs> wonderful person. Honestly, your type is rare. You are truly a gift from the gods. I never believed anyone will know my daughter's predicament and still stick with her. Thank you very much. Mama, I should be the one thanking you for giving me the chance to prove how much I love and appreciate your daughter. Love is all about sacrifice and I am ready to sacrifice all I have just to prove how much I love Adugo. You will? My word is my bond. May the God strengthen both of you.
Breaking news. I will spend the night here. Chibo Pimaka, Makaye Chikabu, Amaimo, Amaimo. Open for a gaga, now Your Majesty, could you believe that your son has decided to spend the night with that girl? How did you know that? He just called the sister. Oh, that means he's fine. I'll see him tomorrow morning. Your Majesty, is that all you have to say? What would you want me to say, woman? He is a man and he has made his decision. The most important thing is that he is safe. Come on, let's go to bed. It's late. Father, mother, I'm sorry for not coming back last night. That still doesn't explain why you came home with her this morning. I was coming to that. I brought her here because I want to officially introduce her to you people as my wife to be. What? Are you out of your senses? You know what? Go in there, take a cold bath, eat and then go to sleep. Because that's exactly what you need right now. Nonsense. Father, with all due respect, this is my choice. Your mother doesn't like me. <laughs> well, um, the truth is that my mother and Goma's mother have been friends for some years now. For that reason, my mother wants me to marry Goma. Just for the sake of their friendship, which is very, very wrong, yes. Marriage is deeper than that. I can't just marry Ugoma because my mother and her mother are friends. Marriage is deeper than that. I don't even have feelings for Ugoma. So give them a little time. They will get used to you, okay? I know so. Even your mother? Yes. Just give her a little time, she will get used to you, okay? Good. Enjoy your drink. My son, tell me you didn't mean what you said about that girl, Abinishi. Father, I can't joke with a thing like that. I'm serious. I haven't seen Adugo in my dreams for like three years now. Remember the nightmare I had when a lady was trying to drown me in the river? All of a sudden, another lady came out and saved my life. I thought you said she was faceless. How come she's now wearing Adugo's face? She revealed her face to me a few days ago and to my greatest surprise 
The face that saved me in my dream was the face I saw in Andrugo's room. Really? Yes. What about the one that was trying to drag you into the river? Have you seen that face? No. But I never had that nightmare again since I met Adugo. The truth is, fate and destiny brought Adugo and I together. Remember, she saved my life. If not for Adugo, I would have been dead by now. I don't believe in those fairy tales. That doesn't mean she is the woman destined for you. Goma is the right woman for you. Mother, I don't have feelings for Goma. I don't even love Goma. Or do you want me to marry someone I don't have feelings for? Forever is too long to spend with a total stranger. I think I understand, son. I don't understand anything. I will never consent to anything that will make you turn your back on Uguma and bring in that thing from the slums into this house as a wife. Never. I don't have feelings for Uguma, and nothing can change that. Excuse me, Mom. Never. Not in this house. I can't take it from anyone. Princess, where is that beach? There's no beach in this house. What are you talking about? Don't fucking give me that attitude because you know what I'm talking about. Where's the beach? Oh, you didn't tell me and you thought I wasn't going to find out? I found out. Don't tell me you're supporting your brother in this regard. Stop it! Not at all! Then where is the beach? Just bring it down. I. I think she's inside this room. <laughs> it has gone that far. Calm down, I see. You, you, you have to. You have to. <sighs> what the fuck are you doing here? What the fuck are you doing in my man's room? I'm talking to you. What the fuck are you doing here? My friend, get, 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 get the hell out of here. Are you stupid? What is wrong with you? Eat your. What is going on here? Huh? How dare you touch my woman? She is not your woman and I will hit her! Don't. The next time you touch her, I will disfigure your face. Are you actually putting up a defense? For this girl, this slut, in my presence? Stop calling her names. I'm warning you. Afan, what is wrong? I can't fight for my fiance. I am not your fiance. Did I engage you? Did I propose to you? Do you even know the meaning of fiance? You are insulting me. You are insulting me in the presence of this girl. Princess, you wouldn't just stand here and not say anything while you watch your brother insult me. You... Amaka. Oh. Take Uguma out of this place. I'm losing it. Ugu, please let go. We can resolve this later. No, don't, 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 don't go, touch me. Please. Don't. You heard me. I hate repeating myself. Take Ugoma out don't of this place. Me. I'm losing it. Don't touch me. 
Don't touch me! Listen up. I do go or whatever useless or meaningless name that you are called. You're playing with fire. And it's going to burn you if you're not careful. You were fast pushing me to a limit or a point where I'll be forced to bite. I hate to bite. And because when I do, I do not let go. Do not let me bite you. I am dangerous. Stay away from my man. I will not repeat this again. I saw Ugomba leaving the compound. Hope she did not bother him again. How well do you know this Ugomba girl? I don't understand. I mean, how long have you been close to her? Do you think you know her very well? Mm. I've known Ugoma for some years now. She's not a bad girl, but she's the jealous type and the slave queen. No, it's not what I'm talking about. Uh, I mean... Um, forget, forget it. Did you find anything suspicious about her? Not really. Just that. Just that what? Nothing. Nothing. Against Ugoma because of that thing you call your friend? Answer me. Is it true? It's not true. And I hate it when you call Adugo names. What? You heard me. Has it gotten to that? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Has it gotten to the point you now scold me because of that thing? Now listen to me. I want that girl out of this palace immediately. Why are you hating on this girl for no just cause? Why? She did nothing wrong to you. Don't forget, she saved my life. And that doesn't make her your bride. Mother, I am not a baby. I know what I want in a woman. I do go to the love of my life. I don't have feelings for her. And I hate that girl. I hate her. I want you to send her out of this palace. Do not allow me to do it myself because you wouldn't like what I would do to her. Mother, I will do no such thing. And I won't let you embarrass her.
we have nurtured and groomed our son to take over the kingship of this kingdom when you're no more. But we can't allow him to marry a riffraff as the future queen of this kingdom. What just, are you talking about? I just said a big snake in the bathroom. You said a snake where? In the bathroom, my prince. God! Yes, my prince. Follow me. Where is it? In here, my prince. Here, my prince. I'm sorry, my prince. There's nothing here. came to me. The maid was actually frightened because of it. I am scared it's going to haunt more. This family is going to be haunted because of me. Stop. That's stop. Don't say that. But that's the truth. I hate to get innocent people involved. It's my burden. Let me pay it alone. your fault that you were dedicated to something you knew nothing about. Trust me, we shall pull through this together. Okay? Prince Ahamifria has the guts, the audacity to insult you because of one nameless idiot. Yes, Mom, I'm telling you, he blatantly denied ever having anything to do with me. He even told me to my face he's going to marry that wretched thing. What? Okay. Stop crying. 
okay? I am going to see Adoma and hear what she has to say about this. May her ancestors help her. She's not into this with her son. I am going to see to the end of that boy's madness. It's okay. Nonsense! Okay. What has gotten into you fools in this compound? No, there's a snake here! What is it? Is it not this stupid maid? Says she saw snakes in this compound. Hey, King! Blindness, there was a big snake here. Did you see anything of it? No, Your Majesty. But, Your Majesty, they could have seen something. Do snakes vanish? If there were snakes, we would have seen them! Now, let me sound this note of warning. Final warning to you. Next time you come up with a false alarm about seeing snakes in this compound, I will leave you up with you. Ah! Oh my God! Fire! 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 Your Highness, this is a sign from the Oracle of Umadin. It's not happy with your household. The Oracle of Umadin? Yes. I don't understand. My Lord, I think he's talking about our neighboring village, Umadin. Yes, Umadin. But what business do I have with that land? You are harboring the one meant to serve the above. Me. As a more. Harboring someone in my palace. Can you be more explicit? <coughs> do you have anyone named Adugo? In your palace? Adugo? Father, that's the name of the girl I found came with. She is the chosen one to serve the god of Umadi. But she has bloodily refused to serve it. This is going to bring the wrath of the gods on anyone who is associating with it. That is why your household is being haunted, Your Highness. Oh, God. Did you know about this? Half of it, I'm asking you. Did you know about this? You what? And what are you still doing with her? Huh? Why bring her to my house? Now listen to me. Go in there and bundle that girl out of my palace and dissociate yourself completely from her. Yes. Immediately.
What has come over you? How dare you stood and walked out on your father while he was still talking to you? He was done talking before I walked out. He made his point by making money too. Adu is going nowhere. What? Afam! Afam! Afam, Are you listening to yourself? That girl is going to destroy us all. Let me worry about that. Love is all about sacrifice. I will help her pull through this. Help her through what? Bro, you are endangering your life by being around that girl. Allow that girl to go! Adugo is going nowhere. Haven't you heard stories? That girl is possessed. She belongs to a certain oracle. The oracle of Umudim is a notorious one! This household will not escape its rot if you don't let that girl go. I hate repeating myself. Like I said before, Adugo is going nowhere and that's fine now. Eh? Yes. What? Oh my god. Ada? Listen, it's not your fault, okay? It's not your fault that you were dedicated to something you knew nothing about. Yes. So stop punishing yourself. Like I said before, I will help you pull through this. No matter what. I want to go. I hate to endanger people's life. Listen, let me worry about that, okay? You're going nowhere. And if my parents reject you, that means they are pushing me out. for the past two days with an unknown sickness. Two days? Two, two days okay. now. Let me get it. Do you want to tell me that all the herbalists in this place cannot detect what she's suffering from? Even medical doctors, so many of them have come here. They say that medical science has not discovered any cure for this type of sickness. This is serious, man. This is pretty. Nay, nay, nay. Mazi Zuna's son is dead. Zuna? Is Zuna's yes. son? Yes. Oh, Jesus. 
Did you say your son was never sick? He was not. It was an attack. Early this morning, my wife and I heard him screaming in his room. We ran in and we find him lying dead on his bed. Something must be wrong somewhere. Something is wrong. The Alosi Igenia Miri approached me and claims responsibility for all this and has vowed to destroy all of us if this girl don't come and take the position of the priestess. This girl and the mother want to destroy us. That cannot happen. We must do something. Orishima, Orishima, come here. I said come here. Your daughter Dugo. We want this problem to be solved once and for all. Where is she? Nine. I don't know where she is. You don't know what? Eh? Or did she? Or did you out of your senses? Eh? Have you not realized that all the happiness in this place are caused by you and your daughter's stubbornness? Eh? For this problem to be solved once and for all, you have to provide her. I said provide her. Where is she? Nine. I... I know where she is. To be honest, Your Majesty, my patience has been pushed to the limit that I can no longer condone the e-treatment. Your son makes on my daughter on daily basis. No. Calm down, my friend. Don't ask me to come down, Your Majesty. This is not the first, nor the second. Your son is abusing my daughter emotionally. To the extent that he has to raise his hand on my daughter. And you, his mother, did nothing. Who said I did nothing? And what did you do, Your Majesty? It's become very obvious, very clear, that this is a family plot to get rid of my daughter after all these years. Fiona. In as much as your emotional outburst is understandable, you have to be calculative of your words. Oh, what? You abused me the same way your son did to my daughter, right? What has come over you? You overreacted. Do you think I am? Yes. So what do you say about your son who is of my daughter? That I have totally condemned and made him promise that such madness will not repeat itself again. Come on, do you know how much I love your daughter? She is the promised bride to my son. I don't want to believe you, right? <laughs> Fiona, Fiona, what is that bitch still doing in this palace? Trust please, me, Fiona. Please, Your Majesty. Spare me all this and tell me exactly what is going on. Fiona. My son is promised to your daughter. She he must marry, and not that peasant from nowhere. Take my word. So you people are here to take her with you? Exactly, Your Majesty. We have come to take her home. Otherwise, we'll all be dead. We will all be dead before she returns. God, go to the princess chamber and fetch Adugo. Yes, your majesty. Can you imagine that the oracle is angry with this very palace because of that girl's presence? Yes. Your Majesty, that is why you put, have to let her go. She spares nothing else than doom to anyone who decides to help her 
on this. The only solution is for her to accept her fate as the princess of the gods of their land. My son is the only one keeping her against my will. He's such a stubborn fellow. I ask you to fetch Adugo, not him. She is busy, father. I'm here to represent her. Any problem? These are her people. The gods of their land is killing their children and their wives because of Adugo's presence in this palace. Hand her over to her people. They need her. This is 21st century. I don't believe in all that. Adugo is going nowhere. Eh? What? You heard me sound that clear. A second. Alpha Mephila, I am not asking you to. I am commanding you to hand her over to her people. Immediately, now! I hate repeating myself. Adugo is going nowhere. No, I can't imagine. Eh? Tell you, my son is gone because of you, and the oracle is ready to inflict more death to us because of your stubbornness. If you like us, embrace your faith. So, so many times I felt like giving up But your love is on my mind I can't replace it Okwamakiji lobo, iji lobo Okwamakiji lobo, love more I love you from my heart I can't replace you from my heart I can't deny you cause I love you from my heart I can't reject you cause I love you from my heart I want ever since you came back. Pull yourself together. I'm scared you would develop fever. It can't be any worst mother. It can't. I don't see myself becoming a priestess to that demon. I'd rather die. 
How can you say a thing like that? Nothing will happen to you. You won't die. I mean it, mother. I mean it. They cannot serve an oracle. Did she find someone else? There is no someone else. You were dedicated to that oracle from childhood. Why me? Why me, mother? It was your grandmother. My mother-in-law. She even told me she did it while you were still in my womb. From that first day till the last day she died, I never forgive her. Even in her death, I still cannot forgive her for doing this evil thing to you. The worst of it all is that there is no way out. Ever since you were a child, I have been looking for a solution. But I found none. The hard truth is that there is nothing anyone can do to help you. So, Mama, what if she runs away from this village? Far away. Won't it work? That is no solution, my dear. How can one run away from a spirit being? Is that possible? And the only thing that can stop that is her death. But the death will not come fast. Everyone around her, all her loved ones, shall be wiped off before her. You are not safe if you do not dissociate yourself from her. Father. Afam. Father, with all due respect, I love Adugo and I cannot disassociate myself from her. Do something. Consult Diazamo. Mm -hmm. 
So mom, all this drama is happening right now. Sweetie, it is not a hearsay. I was there. I was there when the chief priest walked in and said everything. I heard it. I knew it. I have always known that there's something suspicious about that girl. You know, once you see her, you know she's not a normal person. But what I did not know was that she is possessed. <laughs> just the mere fact that the prince could fall in love with her. Seeing her just the first time. Huh? No, I knew everything was not normal. <laughs> Priestess of a certain deity. So this is it. My dear. Uh -huh. Uh, mommy, so what did our farm and the family do? My dear, what do you expect? Did you threw her out of the palace immediately? Our farm was even scared. Hey! I am telling you. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Honestly. Hey! Wonders shall never end. Mm -hmm. So, my dear, nothing is standing on your way. Mm -hmm. The road is very, very free for you now. I know, mommy. I know. I know the road is Stop free. On your way. Yes, so I know. Very soon, the prince is going to come to me crying and begging. But you know what? Mommy, I'll punish him a little. I will punish him for the stress that he has made <laughs> me go through lately. I will punish him. You know, it will be fun now to see the prince mm, shed tears. <laughs> Then when I'm done punishing him, I will now state my conditions, one after the other. State all of them, before I finally possess what belongs to me. Well, the prince is all yours. Do wait him whatever you will. Ah, sure, mommy. <laughs> I'm so excited. I know. <laughs> As a mom, with all due respect, it won't work. It mustn't be her. Someone else can serve the oracle. Why a dugo? There is no argument on this, my prince. It's her destiny. She must embrace it. And I must warn you, you will be endangering her life if you continue to be around her. The oracle will stop at nothing, striking anyone who is discouraging her. My prince, please stay away from her. Father, you need to understand me. I am deeply in love with Adugo. I can't let her go. Please, help me find a solution to her problem. Son, what do you want me to do for you? You heard Ezemo. There is nothing anyone can do to help her. Father, Ezemo is not the only spiritual man around here. But he is the only one recommended to us by the gods of this land. Father, please, don't you know any other spiritual man outside this land? I think I know one.
Thank you, great one. My name is... I know whom you are. And I know why you are here. Really? Yes. Alright, that makes it easier. Can you help her? Can you find a solution? I have handled situations worse than hers. I had made my consultation before you arrive out. Her case is a minor. Go and come back with her tomorrow. Thank you, wise one. I'll bring her here tomorrow. I'd come and eat. Come, let's go inside. Food is ready. Your mother said you can't remember the last time food passed through this mouth of yours. What exactly is your plan? You want to starve yourself to death? What is the excellence of living? <laughs> My friend. My friend, don't talk like that. You still have a lot to live for. Please. A lot to live for? Seeing people that cares about me suffer because of me? Is that what you call living? <laughs> Kemi, you just don't know what I'm going through. You don't. I do. I do. No, you don't. Do you know I spent the whole night in the spiritual world? With that demon? Do you know what it means to be a priestess? My uncle believed that I came into the world just to be a priestess, to serve a demon. That's what he believed. The same God that created you is the same God that created me. I have dreams. I have talent. I cannot be stopped into serving a demon. It's not possible. It's not. My friend. I understand how you feel. I do. But I can't do anything to help you. I'm sorry. I can't. So what about the praise? Is it doing anything to help you? The praise has abandoned me. I cannot forsake the love of my life. Forever you and I, I can replace you. I have been running around no looking for solution. And I'll find one. one no more Follow me. No more my heart longs for you. You cannot run away from your shadow, my dear. I am not your dear. You are. And you will save me for the rest of your life. Now, trying to seek solution, you will struggle to save your mother. Please don't leave me. 
Take care of her and let me fetch a doctor. Okay. Mama! Mama! I don't understand. What do you mean by you don't understand? It's strange. But you're a doctor. Of course, I'm a medical doctor. But not a magician. Meaning? It's spiritual. survive this. Don't say that. Nothing will happen to your mother, okay? I need to go and see my people. Okay. I will be right back. Thank you, my prince. Adugo, don't thank me. We are in this together. I will see to the end of this. Take care of Mama. I'll be right back. Your brother back. 
No, I've not seen him since morning. What? What am I supposed to call that? Do you know the way to that girl's house? Which girl? Don't be silly. You know the girl I'm talking about. I do go, you mean? Mom, I don't know her place. What is the meaning of this, Maurice? <laughs> Are you kidding me? You weren't expecting this, right? Of course, the moment you stole what belongs to me, you should expect me to react. For every action, that's a reaction. I stole nothing from you. Really? What are you talking about? Maybe I should remind you. So you're angry about that contract? Oh, you now remember. <laughs> Maybe that did the magic. But be honest to yourself. You never won it. You stole that contract from me! I stole nothing from you. You are a corny businessman, and that's why you lost that contract to me. Really? But you are the one to suffer the brunt. And maybe you have not realized something. This is your end. This will destroy you. I don't know who he might have told my encounter with him. And if I kill him, the police will be after me. Piccolo. Chief. Make it look like a kidnap. Okay? Yes, Chief. After collecting the money, you kill him. Understood? All right, I understand. Prince came back last night. The guards just confirmed he did not. And he's not gonna take it easy with me if he actually spends the night with that evil girl. Just got a call from some alleged kidnappers. They claim to have the prince in their custody and are demanding for some amount as ransom. Now, let me just get something clear, Your Majesty. Did they confirm to you when they called that they have your son, the Prince? Yes. I spoke with my son. Okay. They have him. Honey, please. I want my son back in one piece. 
Let's, let's, let's just give them what they want and bring back our son safely. Of course, I am not playing with the life of my son. They warned me against involving the police. I am only trying to notify the police, not to get them involved. No, 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 your majesty. You must let us do our job. Let us handle this. This is the responsibility of the police. Yes. But I can assure you, we will bring your son back in one piece. Yes, your Just honor. let us do our job. No. I can't take that risk. Yes. Stay away, please. Please. What of the prince? Go, he will return back to you. We've come to the end of the road. You took my contract and I am going to take your life. Freeze! Officers, yes, Your Majesty. How were you able to track their hideout? You didn't follow the guard that delivered the money, did you? Of course not, Your Majesty. If we did, uh, they would have suspected, they could have found out, and that might have endangered your son, the princess, life. So how then were you able to get them? Um, we planted a bug on the money. A bug? How? I... When? I am so sorry, Your Majesty. We had to do that without your consent. But you have to agree with us that we, we had to take every available opportunity to make sure your son is safe and that we capture the criminals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you just have to forgive us, Your Majesty. But you just gambled with our son's life. It's all right. It's all right. Let's take the light in a positive outcome. My greatest joy today is that the culprit behind this whole plot has been arrested. And I promise you that I'll make sure he will do his time for his crime. Exactly, Your Majesty. Thank you, Your Majesty. 
Thank you, Your Majesty. We have to leave now. Yes. Please take care. Madoka, as I speak to you now, or the cheese is done on serious ailment. I am very sure the God had left us and hit on them, understanding that we are not part of this. Ike Zumna, hmm? tell them that this is just the beginning. The oracle is yet to start dealing with them. Mati Zumna, hmm? Madoka, hmm? it is now that we are going to vent our anger on them. Let us go to the house and forcefully take Adugo. Submit her to the oracle. Many things are happening. Everything is changing. Whoa. I want what I need, baby. This is Reverend Father Matthew. Peace be to you all. Father. Young lady, I was directed to you by the Spirit of God to set you free. But that can only be possible if you can accept Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior. If you strongly believe that Jesus can set you free. Forgive me, Father. I don't know much about Christianity. My father was not a Christian before he died. So is my mother, my uncle and everyone around me. Then if you are not a Christian, why then did you refuse to serve the deity? Because I know what he wants from me. I understand the difference between evil and good. The day it is evil. My grandmother was a priestess of this land before she died. I'm aware of the... I'm aware of the bloodshed and atrocities she committed to the deity. But I am not ready to assume that position. I was dedicated to the deity as a successor, I want the link broken, for I don't know how. Jesus is the answer. My Lord and my God, you are a miracle worker, the Lord who answers when I call. You are a miracle worker, my Lord and my God. You are a miracle worker, the Lord who answers when I call. You are a miracle worker, my Lord and my God. You are a miracle worker, the Lord who answers when I call. You are a miracle worker, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Proverbs eighteen ten says. The norm of the Lord is a strong tower that the righteous run. You must follow us to the rebels. Where are you going? Where are you going? We must follow us. Ijele Riba. All of us must. We must follow us today. Make sure we take. We bring her. Bring her today. Members, members of our family, I appreciate you. We must follow us. We must follow us. Nothing, nothing. Odichi, 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 Adugo, let's go. Adugo is not solution to your problem. Jesus is the solution you seek. <laughs> Who is this one? I don't know. What are you talking about? I am talking about Jesus Christ, the Son of Man. He is the one that will set you free from the captivity of the demon. You can only be saved if you can take me where they call me 
Mr. Preacher, if your God has revealed to you that I do go, it's not our problem. Why did he not reveal to you where the covenant was made? <laughs> God did not reveal that to me. He can only do that if you are ready to accept Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior. What are you talking? If I call the youth now, they will bundle them from this house. I do Touch go. not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. I do go. Let's go to the Jerry, Jerry River. I do go. She's not going nowhere. Enemies be scattered. Arise, O oh Lord. Let the enemies be scattered. O oh Lord, O oh God, arise. My God, O oh Lord, arise. What? What? Do what? you think you are doing? You want to break the bond I made with your forefathers? <laughs> that must be a joke. Any attempt means death. Now you all go back to your houses or forever regret attempting this journey. You lie, you devil! They have given their life to Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, you have no authority over them again. <laughs> you can only deceive the loaded minds who cannot see that you cannot deliver yourself. Now bring them to their deaths. I am with you. You lie. For 2 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 4 says, For the weapon of our warfare is not carnal, but mighty through Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, I destroy you. In the name of Jesus, I destroy you. I am waiting. Arise, O Lord. And let the enemies be scattered. I destroy in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, I destroy in the name of Jesus. Oh, the Lord that answered by fire, He will be my God. The Lord that answered by fire, He will be my God. The Lord that answered by fire, He will be my God. The Lord that answered by fire, He will be my God. The Lord that answered by fire, He will be my God. The Lord that answered by fire, He will be my God. Mama, what is it? Mama, you're fine? Yes, I'm healed. Where is Adugo? Adugo. She left with uh, the prince and one reverend father, so. Mama, Nsobude, there is problem. Nsobude, Nekwa, Kedi Hemenen. Mama, Maz Yuzuna and Maz Yora, they are dead. Hey! 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 Mama, they are dead. Hey! Mama. The devil indeed is powerful, but it's quite obvious that the powers and supremacy of the Christian God cannot be overemphasized. Adugo. Your Majesty. I am very happy for you. I am indeed happy yourself. Congratulations. Thank you, Your Majesty. How certain are you? <laughs> she is totally free. God is ever ready to answer us at all times. He never failed those who believe in Him. Afam, I am so proud of you. I mean, you stood by her to experience all this. Forever you, you inspired and me. I, I can replace you. No love is all about who comes my way, Your love is Thank all you. I need. Mom, I don't understand. Are you not happy for Adugo? Of course I am. Yet she doesn't belong here. Why are you hating on Adugo for no reason? For considerable reasons, son. Stop! Stop! Who's all this? 
I, I am the one marrying Abdugo, not you. I love her. She's the woman of my dream. She's loyal. She's intelligent. She's homely. So please, don't stand between us. I repeat, don't stand between us. Don't! O oh, strong unto God, always pray and stay away from sins. In that way, this evil spirit will never come close to you again. Prayer is the only manpower you have now. You must be attending church activities, come to morning masses. In that way, you will be closer to God. I hope you will do that. Yes, Father, I will. Since I have been delivered from the evil spirit, I don't think anything will stop me from worshiping my God. Thank you very much, Father. My friends. I really appreciate it. You're welcome, my friends. I have to take my leave now. Princess, oh. what is that coarse girl still doing in the palace and with the prince? You mean Adugo? Ugo, you can't believe it. Adugo is a free girl. What do you mean, free girl? She was delivered by Reverend Father Matthew. Oh, God. My brother, the prince, witnessed everything. He was there. Do you mean the prince took her to the Reverend Father? That's what it means. Oh, God, I am so happy for her. But that doesn't change anything, my dear. My son will never marry that girl. You are the right bride for me. I love you from my heart. I can't replace you. Cause I love you from my heart. I can't deny you. Cause I love you from my heart. I can't reject you. This is it, right? What makes you think you can brush her up? No matter how hard you try, she's never going to blend. You know why? Because this is like the case of the proverbial pig that will always return to death, irrespective of how cleaned and well-washed it is. Take the girl out of the slum but you can never take the slum out of the girl. Prince, I found me fuller. Is this what you really want? Ugoma, why don't you just swallow your pride and accept defeat? You are no longer needed around here, so get out. Is this how you talk to your wife to be? She is not my wife to be. Uh, the future queen of this kingdom. Of course. He can sound in whatever way he wants to, especially when he has his village piggy right beside him. I won't allow you to lose your moral decorum because of this thing here. It's high time you told her the truth. And stop deceiving her. You 
You can't marry her. You are my mother, fine and good. But that does not give you the right to choose a wife. I bet you don't engage me in this, do you? As for you, the next time you will call her a pig, I will cut off your tongue. Um, um, um. Uh, it, it's all right, ma'am. Don't worry. It's all right. It's not... Um, um, ma'am. It's all right. Please. It's, it's all right. So, so many times I felt like giving up But your love is on my mind I can't replace it. Oh, I'm a kid, love, oh, it's love, oh. Oh, I'm a kid, love, oh, love, oh. I love you from my heart. I can't replace you, cause I love you from my heart. I can't deny you, cause I love you from my heart. I can't reject you Cause I love you from my heart I want my kids to love I have lost him I finally lost the prince I've lost him to that peasant Baby, you cannot lose him at least the queen will not allow that. You said she promised you, isn't it? Mom, her words no longer have weight. She's not even convinced within herself. And she knows she's been defeated. How will she convince her son to marry someone that he has no affection for? <sighs> we cannot lose the prince. We've been patient enough for ages. Especially not to that nobody. That is my point exactly. So what do we do? What do we do? Good evening, ma'am. Uh -huh. How are you? Mm -hmm. I guess the queen is around. Yes, ma'am. Good afternoon. Oh. You must be the legendary witch that hypnotized the prince to turn his back on his woman, isn't it? I beg your pardon, ma'am. You don't need to beg because we never get it. What makes you believe that Prince Alpha Mefula we value a gutter status. Do I know you, ma? You don't need to. Listen and listen very carefully. If you know what is good for you, you better leave this house before it gets late. That's a threat, ma. No, it is not a threat. It is an advice that will help you if you value your life. You do not have the leverage to disrespect my guest, Fiona. Your Majesty, don't tell me you appreciate this girl's presence here. Why not? Your Majesty, she's trying to steal the prince away from my daughter, her betrothed. Your daughter was never betrothed to my son. Your it was just a mere lips promise I made. On the condition that if my son finds your daughter, what it to be his bride. But you can see, it is not going that way anymore. So do not raise your hopes so high. And capitalize on it to disrespect my guest. The minute she 
show me the gift you gave them. <laughs> That's so thoughtful of you. Oh my god, you're so nice. Thank you. And this is delicious. My oh. princess, mom, what are you eating? Abacha. In my house? African salad. Mom, well, guess who prepared it? Of course, the chef. I do good deed! Prepare this. Yes, my friend. Stop it. You mean you allowed this thing to prepare this in my own house? Eh? Stop. Daddy has eaten it and he likes it. Eh? Oh, mom, stop. Even the prince ate it. They all enjoyed it. Really? It's small. All the maidens, the guys, the guys, they enjoyed their own. What is wrong with you? How are you sure she has not poisoned all of you? No, no, stop it! She, she can't do it! She can't do a thing like that! Stop! Please don't eat no. it! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Makaiye chikabu Amaimo Amaimo I thought I was the only one that got the gift though. Whether it's from Goma or it's from Adugo, I just that's my business. Once the gifts keep on coming, I don't mind. I'll collect them. As for me, oh, huh, Adugo is kind hearted and friendly to everyone. Exactly, my dear. Hmm. Unlike that self centered and egoistic Goma who flaunts herself like a goddess. I wonder how this palace will look like if she eventually becomes the queen of this land. Which queen? Ugoma, Adugo. Who said that becomes a queen? How is it my business? How is it our our business? Hmm? So far the gifts keep on coming. I don't mind though. I will collect them. You understand? I don't even know why I'm still in this palace. I just pray for one Malaysia guy to just come and pick me and take me out of this kingdom or even this palace. But the queen is strictly against Ugoma. Huh. She hates her with so much passion. I don't think that will linger for long because the prince himself is deeply in love with Adugo and he wants to make her his future queen. Regardless, I pray he wins the fight. Which fight? Undertaker and, and John Cena. People should keep on talking, I'm going. As if our opinions count. Information reaching me from the palace is that that bitch is gradually gaining the love and trust of everyone in the palace, including the palace mates. 
You mean she's bribing her way through their hearts? Diane, it's not physical bribery. It's emotional bribery. And you know that can be very effective and destructive. That bitch is presenting herself like the right woman who should be with the prince. And everyone is beginning to see her as such. Even the queen. Except the queen. She's the only one I still have on my side. I've lost the princess. Because she's beginning to see that bitch as one befitting for her brother. <laughs> Girl, this is serious. You need to do something. <laughs> I gotta do something. I know. Don't worry, drink. Drink. <laughs> I sure will do something. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Your Majesty. Good morning. What are you drawing? This is amazing. Who taught you how to do this? Your Majesty, I've been drawing right from when I was small. How long did it take you to make that? Ten minutes, Your Majesty. Ten minutes. You're a genius. You are good. Thank you, Your Majesty. This is beautiful. I didn't know this girl is endowed with such amazing gift. Yeah, the prince said it. But I thought he was just hyping her. I think she's rather underrated. I don't mind if she makes mine as beautiful as this. Is that to say that you're beginning to like her? No, no. Far from it. She, she still has a lot to do to gain my fondness. But for her to marry my son, it's totally out of the contest because I won't allow it. Not while Ugoma is there. That girl is too primitive and naive to fit into this family. I don't think so. The truth is you never try to get closer to that girl. She is very ideal for our son. She's educated, intelligent, and beautiful. <laughs> you may not like her though, but primitive and naive is totally not what she is. Your Majesty, we promised Ugoma to our son. Uh -huh. We do not break our promises. And that's why this family is what it is. I understand that pretty well. Good. I also understand that you want our son's happiness even in marriage. Of course. But how can he be married if he marries someone he doesn't love? Ugoma is a girl I am so fond of. I won't even mind her marrying my son. But not against my son's will. Get that in your head. Then let's take a friendly walk. How do you mean? I mean this. Jesus! <laughs> what? Jesus! Jesus. <laughs>
Shut the fuck up. Shut up. I want you to stay away from my man. I want you to stay away from my man, but you wouldn't listen. Now listen. Not you or any other bitch out there can take the prince from me. And do you think he will ever love you again after hearing about this? <laughs> you think he's gonna hear about it, darling? No. I'm sorry to disappoint you. He's not gonna hear a thing. Because you are going to disappear into thin air. Your cops, it would never be found. Girls, am I communicating? Yes, number one. Come back, please. Don't do me. This. Shut up! Please. Shut up! I gave you the opportunity to back off and stay away, but you chose to stay. Please. Choice, your destruction. Ah! Not one word from you. This is the police. Ah! Goma could do such a thing. Mom, do you know that the police said she has been a leader of a court group since her third year in the university? I heard when they were saying it. Hi! It was all my fault. Mm -hmm. She deceived me into thinking she's the right girl for my son. She also deceived me. Hi! Thanks to Adugo. Otherwise, we wouldn't have been able to know who she really is. Dad, you are so right. Uguma has been my friend for years. I've never seen this part of her. Imagine her want to kill an innocent girl because of a man. My goodness. Hey, she's nothing but a devil incarnate. She must be demented to behave that way. She's an evil girl. She's evil. Too bad. Hi. She will meet her Waterloo. I want to live She's responding to treatment, Your Majesty. And the soldier, I hope everything was okay. Yes, Your Majesty. Thank God. Can I talk to her? You are free. She's awake. Thank you. Ada. How are you? I'm fine, Your Majesty. I'm sorry. Okay? Forgive me. I'm sorry about the whole thing. How I treated you and how I talked to you. I'm so sorry. Okay? Get well soon. I can't wait 
for you to come back and join the royal family. Um, madam, how about the bills? That's okay. Um, I have to be on my way now. I can't wait to see you in the palace. Thank you. Sir, okay? I love you.